Uh, okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm going to share you with my topic: practice of Apache API six in local gateway. I'm Zhiyuan Zhu from Apache API six PMC. Here is my short description, and、uh, I was born at 1997, and now I'm maintaining. Apache API six with community, and、uh, I'm honored to be one of the PMC members. Also, I'm going to also I'm used to maintain the Freeco camp, and、uh, is one of the core member. The right side is my GitHub profile, and、uh, you can see. I'm activity on Apache API six projects. Before we start our main contents, let me introduce Apache API six with you. <laughs> Apache API six is a production available seven layer full flow traffic processing platform, which can be used. As an API gateway to handle business entry traffic, with remarkable characteristics of extremely high performance and ultra low latency, it has more than fifty plugins built in, covering many aspects such as authentication, security protection, flow control, serverless, observability, and so on. Which can meet common use scenarios of enterprise customers. As shown in the architecture diagram below, Apache API six is divided into two parts: the data plane on the left side and the control plane on the right side. All configuration are sent to the ATCD through the control plane and. Data plane handles internal and external traffic with rich plugins. You can see here. There have rate limit, authentication, security, and other custom plugins. Apache API six ex exposes a side of APIs that make it. Make it easy for us to bind plugins to the API. If we want to add speed limit capability to the API,、um, there have an example here.、Uh, we will I will show you later. Before seeing the example, let me introduce Apache API six communities activity. This graph describes the API six. The community activity mainly about contributor over time. Since 2019, we have reached nearly 3,000 contributors after one year later. And Apache API six, and API Apache API six mainly contains. Fifteen more plugins. Here is limit RQ plugin example. We can see we only need to call the API to create to create this root with those configurations. We only enable limit RQ plugin here, and there have four. Parameters: read, burst, rejected code, and key. All parameters you can find on our Apache website. It's here, and、uh, here has do documentation. You could see here, and you can find all plugins. Okay, back to our session. This example uses limit IQ 
plugin to implement API speed limit specific function. What should I do if I address scenery based requirement of determining the subsequent request processing logic based on the processing results of a plugin? Currently, the existing plugin mechanism cannot meet their requirement, and this leads to the ability of plugins orchestration to solve this problem. Before that, what's plugin orchestration? Here has one video. We can see this video here. You can see we can drag plugin from the left sidebar. And this is start node. This is you could say when one request is sent to the API gateway, it will use the chaos plugin to check if it meets the requirement. Okay. Okay, then what's plugin orchestration? Plugin orchestration is a manifestation of low code, which can help enterprises reduce use costs and increase operation and maintenance efficiency. And it's an indispensable ability in the process of enterprise digital transformation. With help of the plugin orchestration ability in iPatch API 6, a low-code API gateway, we can easily combine 15 plugins through drag and drop. And the orchestration plugins can also share context information and finally, Relays scenery requirements. Extend the above API speed limit scenery. If we want to request to use Chaos plugin for authentication, if authentication passes, the Kafka logger plugin will take over and log. If the authentication fails, the limit IQ plugin will be used have a speed limit. This is happened according to the previous video. In that video, the web interfaces list existing plugins and artboards. We can drag the plugins to the artboard to arrange and fill in the data bound by the plugins and then complete the whole process in the whole processes. First, operational visualization. In addition to creating APIs, use interface visualization. We can also design scenarios in intuitively and clearly through our institution capabilities. Second, process reusable. By importing and exporting the JSON data of the artboard, the engineer data generated by the layout can be easily reused. Third, combine new plugins, treat each scenery as a plugin, and create plugins by combining different plugins with conditional elements. Okay, so how does Apache API 6 combine with low-code capabilities? This requirement the data plane APH API 6 and the control plane API 6 dashboard to work together to complete. The overall process is as follows. We first drag and drop to draw the flow. 
and we could generate DAG and then generate Lua codes. In the end, we execute Lua on Apache API 6. In Apache API 6, we have added the script execution logic to the root entity, which can be used to receive the Lua function generated by the dashboard and execute it. It supports calling existing plugins to reuse code. In addition, it also acts on various stages in the life cycle of HTTP requests, such as access, header filter, body filter, etc. The system will auto -timate, will the system will automatically execute the script function corresponding to stage code at the corresponding stage. See this picture. This is a Lua function stream and it, it will be executed on Apache API 6. In the dashboard, it contains two sub-components of the web and the manager API. The web is used to provide a view interface to facilitate our configuration of API gateways. Manager API is used to provide RESTful APIs for the web and other clients to call in order to operate the configuration center, default ATCD, thereby indirectly controlling Apache API 6. In order to generate a leg legitimate and effective script function, Manager API choose data structure of DAG directed a silic graph for the underlying design and independently developed the DAG to Lua project. It used root node as starting node and decide the next flow plugin according to judgment conditions, which will effectively avoid the logical deep loop. The following is a schematic diagram of the DAG data structure See here. Corresponding to script parameters received by, by the manager API, here is an example of the conf field. That's after the cant converts the final compiled data to the above format, the manager API will use the DAG to Lua project to generate Lua functions and give them to Apache API 6 or execution. As for the website, after selection, comparison, and project verification, we choose Ant Financial's open source X6 graph editing engine as underlying framework for plugin layout of the web part. In addition to perfect and clear documents, a series of out-of-the-box interactive components and notes customizable ability is also the reason why we choose it. In the process of orchestration implementation, we abstracted the concepts of common components and plugin components. Common components refer to start node, end node, and condition judgment node, and plugin components are every available Apache API 6 plugin. Drag and drop these components into the artboard to complete the plugin orchestration process, as shown in the finger. During the drag and drop process, we need to limit a series of boundary conditions. Here are a few examples. When the plugin is not configured, the system will appear an error prompt of zero unconfigured components. You can intuitively see which plugin doesn't have configuration data. When editing an API, 
if the API has already bound plugin data, when using plugin orchestration mode, the system will appear a warning message after detection, and the system can only proceed if the user explicitly confirms that he wants to use orchestration mode. This can effectively avoid the situation where API data is misused. In addition, there are situations such as start components can only have one output and the condition judgment component can only have one input. Just think, if the system allows users to operate without restriction and reasonable plugin combinations are meaningless and will produce unexpected errors, Therefore, constantly enriching boundary conditions is also a problem that needs to be considered when designing plugin layout. When we are finished, we will use X6 export API to generate the JSON data of the flowchart, then convert it into DAG data required by system, and finally generate the Lua function. As for the future outlook, by dragging and dropping, users can more easily combine plugins to meet different scenarios, so as to improve the scalability and operation and maintenance experience of the API Gateway. In the actual use process, there are the following problems that can continue to be optimized. First, at present. The boundary judgment conditions of components are not rich enough. By continuing to improve these conditions, a reasonable arrangement and combination can be reduced. Second, at present, there are not many examples of layouts, and more reference examples can be provided for developers to learn and users to use. Third, Currently, Apache, Apache API 6 uses the code defined by the plugin for status return, exception return status code, request termination, and can support more HTTP request response fields or even modify the plugin definition to accent the plugin capabilities, say this function. We add the result field to store execution results and pass this result to the next plugin. We could do many other improvements on this future. Mm. Here is my speech here and uh, as for Apache API 6, API 6 can help enterprises quickly and securely handle API and mirror service traffic, including gateways, Kubernetes ingress, and source meshes. Hundreds of companies around the world have used Apache API 6 to handle critical business traffic, covering finance, internet, manufacturing, retail, operators, etc. Welcome to take a look and contribute to our community. If you want to learn more about Apache API 6, welcome to visit this website and uh, see our GitHub. Yes. Okay. Mm. Anyone has questions? Hello. I will wait for nearly five minutes. If you have questions, you can leave messages here.
If you have questions, feel free to ask here. We'll wait for some minutes. Okay, if no, um, thanks for joining this session. Bye-bye.